In Tanzania, we cherish the commendable job of the Institute in building the capacity of our researchers and agricultural students. There's been a list here. There's been acknowledgement. Some of them didn't stand up. There were so many of us. Yeah. most of them. And some of them this year, last year, we gave, gave the national medals for acknowledgement for the good work that they are doing. I'll show you now. <laughs> We are also thankful for the various activities. That has enabled our farmers to increase production of cassava by developing improved high quality disease resistant varieties. I'd like to assure you that Tanzania will, will continue to strengthen our working relations with this institute in our common pursuit to improve agriculture in Tanzania. President Obasanjo, we have heard you loud and clear. We will also make significant contribution with more than what we are doing now to the institution. <laughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we know too well that overcoming the many challenges facing our agriculture, including that of inadequate capacity for research, development of yield high yielding seeds and pesticides. Also overcoming the many other challenges is a gigantic task, indeed. It requires many addressing many issues. The only constraint we have is inadequate resources. There is no problem of lack of political will. No. We in Tanzania in 2006 developed a comprehensive 14 year agricultural development program to overcome the many constraints to increase agricultural productivity in the country. The purpose the underlying purpose is to increase agricultural productivity through better or more application of modern science and technology. But we've also realized that we need to do more with regards to agricultural research. We've also increased attention to research. We have instituted measures to increase the involvement. We have also instituted measures to involve the private sector and other stakeholders in agricultural development. In other words, we chose to include all other players besides the government and development partners who were considered as the sole agents of agricultural development in the country. We need that out of the belief that with this mix, if properly attained, and other agricultural related se sectors, other agricultural related sectors such as agro-processing and the service industry will also come into play and benefit accordingly. In turn, in terms of farmers, and many other Tanzanians engaged in these sectors will improve and so will their living standards and well-being. As we know, all no research activities in any field require substantial resources and expertise. This also is true of other of agricultural research and the other development activities. It is that we need to know that to note that many African governments in Africa uh, have taken no, are taking research seriously and they are investing resources to that effect. The minister has appealed for more resources. One of the things that I did after becoming president was visit all the agricultural research institutions. 
if there isn't any that I have, if there is any that I have not visited, that would be very unfortunate. I had time to talk to the scientists, see the state of operations of these institutions. One of the things that I did on the spot was direct, but the scientists in the research institutions will not retire. That looks kind of like contravening their basic human rights of retirement. But I told them, look here, you guys, for you, retirement is a luxury we cannot afford. Because I discovered that we do not have young scientists. All of them, uh, all the age of Mongurus and company, So if we allow them to retire, those research institutions will have nobody. So I said, you guys stay on the job until we come to we realize that you are now mixing the genes. You are too old now. We said, okay, fine. Go and take care of your grandchildren. But that, 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 was, that was a stopgap measure. Then we took a decision in government. But I took the, that decision during the budget session. I said, okay, fine. I want 30 billion or 30 million dollars set aside for agricultural research. I told the Minister of Finance, where you get this money, I don't know, but from this budget, you'll get some 30 million dollars. And that's how we started. We got money. And we said, where do we put this money? We gave the money to Dr. Mshin. Because we thought if you give it to the University in Morogoro, they will take it for themselves. First. Then we said, let's give it to a new professor. The, the Commission for Science and Technology. Keep the money. And give it to, give to the research institutions. On the basis of merit. They put up proposals. They follow those proposals and decide what to fund. In the last three years, we have been able to train how many scientists? We have already sent, trained 263 scientists. Send them for masters and PhD. Last year, we, we, we set aside 15 million dollars for equipment and rehabilitation of the research institutions. We are contributing. Now, every research institution at least has two research programs that are funded by government. In the past, we all depended on the donors. And if they had no interest in that, in that particular research, that, institution, that research institute remains idle. If they're not interested in the question at research, there's no way. So it all depends upon the donor is interested in what. And the interest uh, invariably depends on a PhD researcher somewhere interested in doing a research on a particular crop, appealing to his government and that government donates that money but on condition of not do this research for that particular scientist. At least now we are doing something on our own. All that we are appealing is complementarity. If we, if we get the development partners complementing our efforts, we should be able to do more. Well, I gave myself a target of at least one percent of the of the budget to go to agricultural research. We are on the way. We've just started. I'm sure sometime, someday, we will get there. But the point I'm saying is, 
there is awareness. There is commitment. There is action being taken by African governments, realizing that research is critical for development. We decided to do, to, 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 to do it ourselves, to contribute something. The only problem we have is we are resource, con resource constrained. We cannot allocate enough for everyone or for every sector in accordance to its requirements. There are so many complete competing needs. There are times when you visit capitals in the developed countries, they say, okay, give me one priority. So they say, to me, everything is a priority. <laughs> Our people don't have adequate water supply, it's critical. There is a problem in education. The roads are not there. Health services are, are not there. So I said, look here, yeah, in this list, just pick which one you think you are also consider a priority that you are ready to develop. So it's difficult to choose among so many competing needs which one actually is, 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 is a priority. So again, I'm saying the issue is not lack of political will. There is plenty of that. It has never been wanting, but it is competing needs in our respective countries that overwhelm us.